Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to build an amazing app. So last time I showed you our new platform Pi Visual and we created a very basic, very simple app that just changes images uh, when you click on the button. So today what we will do is we will create a functional weather app where you can write in which city do you want to get the weather from and it will display you different types of uh, the data for example wind speed humidity temperature and even uh, we will add some images that it will show us whether it's cloudy or rainy and stuff like that so something like this would be a little bit difficult to do right now but with this Pi visual platform it becomes very easy so uh, what we will do is we will go to our window first of all and let's say we will make it 600 by 600 uh, I like a square image so that's why I prefer this uh, by the way this uh, what do you call our platform is currently not available but we are about to launch soon so if you want to keep updated on its progress uh, you can go to its page computer vision zone slash pi visual you can go there and sign up enter your name email address and you can stay updated on the progress so we will let you know uh, what the progress is and when we are uh, going to launch it so for example here uh, last time we did not add any background uh, this time around I want to add a background let's say uh, blue gradients so this is the one that I would like to go with. Uh, I have created this app before. That's why I have picked already this one. So if you were creating it uh, from scratch, again, uh, you can go and skim through all these different variations and which one do you prefer. Anyway, so uh, moving on, we need an input field first of all. So we will go here and we will write here that this is our input field. And uh, instead of saying enter email, we are going to say enter your city right so and then the text we don't want to put any text by default or do we want to okay let's put a city for example london by default right so if if somebody removes london then it will show uh, that uh, enter your city right but this is just a placeholder so right now it will show us enter your city the input type will be uh, text simple text and all of the settings we don't have to change let's keep it as it is and then we will add a button so for the button let's go with submit and we will add it here uh, the the edges are not very clear so we can add a border and we can change its color to let's say white and we can reduce its size as well it's a little bit off i would say and maybe a little bit bigger and then the round is too much the the corner radius so we can change it to for example five yeah uh, and then we can stretch it out so there you go i think that looks good and uh, then we can add some text where we want to show uh, the results so let's put enter i really like this font so i will put it here now with the text we do have the option of having for example uh, a region where the text will appear so i can put it in the middle here and then i can center it so this way whatever text comes in it will stay within the bound of this uh, box right so if that makes sense so then we can change this font to let's say 29 uh, let's say c and then in between i need the degree uh let me google it degree symbol degree symbol and i can simply copy it where is it yeah there you go so i've just googled it to show that and we can simply paste it here there you go so now we are getting this and uh, if you wanted to remove the bold you can remove that and if you wanted to change the size uh from here you can do that too but i think it's fine or maybe maybe let's say 90. no 100 was good let's keep it at 100. right there you go so let's put it in the center and once that is done oh i moved it 
let's put it okay let's put it here in the center and once that is done uh, we will also change the font color for this let's put it as white is more clear i think let's remove the bold i don't like the bold yeah that's better okay so then what we'll do is we will also use the same font and we will write here wind speed and humidity so i can re reduce the size of it and i can simply uh let's do it from here let's say 18 and i can write here wind speed right and then yeah this is a problem we are facing that oh, we just have to do once like this and it will fix <laughs> so again there are bugs we are fixing those but don't worry uh we will left align it and uh we are going to copy and paste and here we are going to give a placeholder we are going to add a value now here's the important thing we are going to tell ai to write the code for us so what we will do is we will help the ai understand the visual aspects of this so sometimes it might not get which text is which so we will write the text name so that it can understand so for example here for the wind speed i will give an actual wind speed 24 kilometers per hour for example so now it will get an idea of okay maybe this is the speed and even to enhance it further what we can do is here you can see the variable name is just text right so i can write here text underscore uh, wind underscore speed so now when it goes to the ai model it will understand okay this text is for wind speed so if i wanted to change i can simply change it here now it could work without this as well but it's a better chance that it will work well if you give it some hints right so same way we can copy this and we can bring it here and we can right align it like this and we can also copy this and we can place it here and we can right align it again so here um, instead of wind speed we are going to say humidity so let's say 30 percent and then we have here humidity humidity there you go so now i think the visual aspects they are not bad right but if we wanted to add more to it we can add uh, let's say images so we can go to graphics and we can say um, sunny let's say so here we have this image of the sun so i can reduce the size of this i can bring this down uh, i can use shift and the arrow key to bring it down and keep one part fixed so the vertical was moving the horizontal was fixed so that makes it a little bit easier to play around with so uh, let's say this is uh, the case and then uh, instead of sunny let's say we have uh, cloudy cloudy and we will add some options here and there to get the results uh what could be cloudy yeah maybe this let's say this is cloudy maybe a little bit smaller and then let's say rainy uh so let's say we we'll use this rainy and what else snow snowy snowy uh is that snowy okay <laughs> maybe we can change some image later on but uh, again you get the idea so this is the placeholder where all the images will be we will hide it unhide it uh so for now that's the idea of how this will work so now we have everything ready so what we will do next is we will go to our AI. So we will click on, uh, oh, actually, one, one thing we can do, again, we can change the name of the images. So here uh, we have image, so we can write here image underscore uh, snowy. And then here image underscore rainy. And then we have image underscore loudy and image underscore let's say um clear let's say 
or sunny, whatever you want to call it, right? So we will put all of these images back to their positions. So basically we are moving them so that they are in the correct position. Okay, so all of that is done and now we can go to code and here you can see the code is already generated. So this code is for the UI. So if I took this code, if I copied it and took it to Python and run it, it will work, the buttons will be there, the UI will be there, everything will be there, but there will be no logic because you can see here, uh, nothing is been called and there are no events attached that if the button clicks or if input, then do this and that. So there's nothing there. So what we can do here is we can explain what our app does and then it will help us write the code. So, so I've made the image, uh, so I've made the window smaller and now we are going to write the actual uh, prompt. So what exactly do we need? So we will say this is a weather, weather app use real data from, now I have tried it a couple of times and if I say use real data from an API, then it uses open API weather, right? Uh, let me go to that website. So it goes to open weather map API. So by default, I think this is the largest one. So that's why it directly uses that every time. So they have their API and where you can get the current weather data. And what you can do is you can uh, get all sorts of different things, the weather, the base station, the temperature, uh, visibility, wind speed, uh, rainy or cloudy, whatever that is. And then uh, what we can do is we can look into that, that what exactly do we need? And we can also tell it to use this API if we want it to, right? Otherwise, by default, it will use that. So when I was looking through this, I saw this weather ID. So these are the weather condition codes. So if you click on those, these are the ones that will tell you whether it's sunny or cloudy or rainy, right? And they also have images for these as well. We can use these images as well in our software. It's very easy. But for now, we are not going to do that. But here you can see they have these codes, uh, weather condition codes. So if it's 200, then it's thunderstorm. If it's 300 something, it's drizzle. It's 500 something, it's rainy and then 600 something it's snowy so we can we can ask our api uh, we can ask our ai to use this information to actually uh, toggle through the images right so we already have this information so we can say use real data from uh, open weather map api okay and uh, use the weather uh, or let's let's define the first thing display display the temperature humidity and uh, what was the last thing wind speed in their corresponding text uh ponding fields okay f i e l d s uh, all the spellings are wrong, by the way. But I'm going to keep it like this. Uh, and then once that is done, use the weather ID to show the appropriate image. There are four options. Clear, cloudy. Now... If you don't give these, there is a chance it will pick it. But if you give it, it will be easier for you as well. So clear, cloudy, rainy, and uh, rainy, and snowy. So these are the four. And only one image should, should be shown at any given time. Okay. So uh, I will copy this. And just in case, I have to paste it again. <laughs> and I will click on send. Now, we don't have any animations right now uh, that will show you it's going and receiving and all that. But for now, let's say uh, it's going. And uh, hopefully, uh, this will turn gray once we get the response. And we also get a chat view here as well. Now, uh, the chat right now is one directional. Um, so you just give it the prompt and it will give you the answer. But later on, we are also going to add the chat completion part where uh, you can ask it 
to further improvise and change make some changes so there you go the code now integrates open weather map api to fetch weather data based on user input city the temperature humidity wind speed are displayed respective fields and the appropriate weather image is shown based on the weather conditions okay that sounds amazing right and here you can look here when it's generating the code you can see it's using the same thing 200 300 600 and clear for clouds so again you can see the logic is there it's toggling on and off the visibility of different images so um, i'm hoping it is uh, going to work and uh, then here uh, you have the logic code and here it's fetching all the information and this is the ui code that we had earlier as well so i will copy this and i also have to download this because uh, we uh, what do you call have all the assets uh, that need to be downloaded and uh, added to our uh, what he called uh, folder so what i will do is i will create a new folder here and this is called weather app and once this is downloaded i will open this up and i will simply paste our assets and main.py now what i can do is i can open it up uh, our main.py and then we can simply run it Okay, so here we have our weather app and there seems to be an error if we click on it. This is extra, so we need to remove that. And here you can see uh, you, you have to add your API key here. So it's not like it will generate an API key for you. So you can basically go to uh, this website and you can generate your API key. This is my API key. Don't use mine, please. <laughs> and uh, it's free to use, so you can create your own and I will simply place it here. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work. But there's still an error. Where is the error at the end? Let's see. Okay, there's a slash here as well. Uh, so the AI is adding slashes uh, for some reason. Again, we will fix it. Don't worry. So we will right click and run this. So here we have our window running. And if we put, for example, London, you can press submit. And there you go. You get 9.58. Humidity is 85%. 6.3 and then we can write Sydney let's say and then we get this the image is not changing Lahore still not changing uh, let me try Kuala Lumpur because that's always raining <laughs> uh, I don't know the spellings of that <laughs> so I'll paste it and there you go never fails <laughs> So there you go, you have 99% humidity, wind speed, and the image is changing as well. And as you can see, the overall structure works well. You can create your own apps using this. So hopefully, you will be able to create a lot more stuff when you have the graphical power with you. So this is an amazing app that you can build in like a few minutes, probably 20 minutes it took us. If you were doing it, probably take you less than 10 minutes to do this and you have your own app running which is actually useful and can be exported into an exe file and be a can be a standalone application as well so this is it for today and don't forget that we do have the waiting list for pi visual uh, on so if you want to use this if you want to test it out then you can go to our landing page uh, this is the landing page uh, you can sign up here with your name email and role and uh, basically we will contact you with all the information and when you can uh, get started with this so this is it for today and i will see you in the next one